Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode on War Commander for Beginners. This episode will be on the settings. The settings can actually help you out. Uh, these are the settings. Top right, you got a little gear thingy <laughs> that's settings. Uh, what you will also notice on my screen on the top left, I have activated a FPS counter, so my frame counter basically showing how much it lags or how slow uh, this game is running at the moment and with that counter I want to hopefully show that the settings actually do matter so let's go over the settings um, most of these are really not important whatsoever it might make the game look a bit cooler uh, for example, that infantry, you see a little blood, a little dead body, not important. Destroyed vehicles, uh, power plant smoke when you hit it. Uh, projectile smoke trails is like when you fire a missile, you see the smoke behind them. I mean, it's not, it's all not important. Um, building shadows, I'll, I'll show that in a bit. High quality effects, probably when the explosions go off, it's cooler. Low power icon, I can show you that as well. Um, and then uh, idle animations which makes it twirl around so for these the most in base I can show you low power icon the idle animation and uh, which one the shadows yeah there we go apply so did I apply all I should have uh, anyway so as you can see the buildings have a shadow like here behind the storage here as well behind um, and let's take that off and see what happens so boom you can see the shadow is gone but not all of it this is just <laughs> plain weird to be honest like if you look like you think this the shadow uh, the Sun is like more like northeast ish because of this shadow and this shadow clearly uh, and all like all of the shadows and then when you put the animation of the shadow apply then every building on the back have shadows so apparently there's another sun uh, coming from the southeast so basically this just shows uh, another sun randomly so completely useless completely pointless the idle turret animation and then the low I can't um, can I I can't really delete anything actually so when your power gets below 100% you will then see like a little power icon that meaning that you know it doesn't get any supply or that it it's not working 100% oh, we just missed it but the t idle tower animation is like yeah this literally this moving and that's it completely pointless so suggest taking it all off but let's keep it on just for fun it actually doesn't really do much when we're doing idle like our CP uh, I would frames didn't really go down that much but yeah uh, more importantly is in a battle I will show you the difference in a battle okay so first let's take everything off and let's just look at our frames all the aces uh, you can see, see the shadow here as well so on awesome play voices even though I don't really but let's do it boom music alright everything is spread out ready reporting yes what's yes. that Cool stuff, okay. Peruvian, let's look at our frames. 23, 19, 13, 11, 14, 11 again. That is really extremely low, guys. So that's because of all the explosions. I kind of do like the sound. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. Anyways, it's done. <laughs> good old times so 11 was our lowest I believe 30 if I saw it wrong was the highest 
And now let's do it again. Them sounds, yo. Okay. Sounds off. Everything off. Uh, trophy enemies, whatever. Explosions off. Off, 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 off. Everything off. Now let's do it again. My ruby is probably on. Take it off. Boom. Spread the maces. Ruby. So 30, 25, 31 even. Let's see what happens now because now it was dropping tremendously and it doesn't. 22 is the lowest so far. And that's about as low as it will get. So the lowest was 22 compared to all the graphics. It was 11. That is a huge difference. Seeing our top was only 30, 32. So a third difference is massive. So I suggest um, do this. Look at your settings. Personally, I take everything off. I mean, outside of battle, you can put your trophies on. It just makes your trophies or some of them at least twirl around not important whatsoever the explosions it did make it more cool but it's not necessary uh, sound and music it doesn't really matter what you do this is actually also an important one for your gameplay especially for PvP when you conquer a tune you will automatically move into that spot it's pretty important uh, it's not super important but it's very useful so I suggest putting it on if you want to do PvP um, what else you could put this on uh, defensive wave same not important uh, the other there's some important so use your keyboard in full screen obviously super important because in the next episode I will talk about shortcuts so that is super super important I can't stress that out enough uh, same with the hotkeys um, Play cinematic when scouting bases that have them. Uh, not necessary, actually. <laughs> so, this was a short episode on the settings. As you can see, it's actually very important. Um, it's proven with a frames counter. The more frames you get, the better, clearly. And especially if you live far away from War Commander servers, it's important to keep those frames up very important it will save you a lot of repair time because lag is the number one uh, the number one reason why you get repair time it's gonna be lag in this game so check out your settings they're on the top right I turn pretty much everything off uh, you can even copy them if you want and this is actually a pretty important one so keep that one ticked same with the keyboard and the hotkeys important and that's it. Hope this was useful. Please like, please subscribe, and I see you guys next time.